All right, here we are at 112 Valley View Road, new listing, and uh, take this one in. We're gonna fly around, show you the garage and the backyard, and then we're gonna jump right into the quick Matterport tour to show off that kitchen. Didn't want anybody waiting to see what was inside this house, because it is a full remodel, top to bottom. So you can see right there the new roof, the new windows. We're gonna show off the backyard, and this one, you really have nothing to do. Just move in and enjoy it. And uh, just a fun little fact too, inside it, the artwork is all original artwork and it is for sale. So if you see something, uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out one step at a time. But uh, there you go. We're gonna show off the door. A lot of the original hardware and charm and essence of this house has been preserved. So that's definitely unique and something I thoroughly enjoy. And um, location of media, <laughs> you can't beat it. So you have the elementary school not far away. You really do have quite a bit within walking distance. And uh, one right around the corner we sold too on Sandy Bank. So uh, very, very familiar with this area. And uh, there you go. We're just gonna bring you back, show you that garage one more time. And uh, then we're gonna get you started on the boots on the ground tour. Here we go. All right, 112 Valley View Road here in Media. And uh, this one's a full remodel. So let's take you outside and then get you in. So legitimately everything here has been done. So we'll get to there. Here is the driveway. Now that part of the garage, or I should say the left garage comes with this unit. So I'll show you the lovely backyard and then we'll meander into the garage just to show you. So throughout the house, most of this is original hardware and it's all working. So really, really nice high, high ceilings. Even that if you uh, care to use it. So I'll spin you around, get your bearings. We have the back there with the little patio area, all brick. And actually for media, quite a large backyard. I'll take you here just so you can see real quick. Nice little sitting area back there and spin you around. And even another space for a shed or something else there, you know, within uh, whatever media says we can do here. But there's the back. <laughs> Actually have our assistant Leanne there. We'll wave to her and go around. So you see all the brick. We see new windows throughout, new roof, and uh, the grass still has to come in. <laughs> so that's why the hay is here. But there you are. And you see a little bit of the surrounding neighborhood here. Great, great pocket of media. And there we are. So that is the outside. Let's venture inside. And again, all from what I can tell, the original hardware was preserved. So it's a really nice feature. As soon as you come in here, you'll see the hardwood floors also preserved. So take a look at that. Recessed lighting, you can see it. This is the downstairs. There's a coat closet there. We'll spin you around into the dining room. Remember, all new windows. And look at that kitchen. Unbelievable. So white cabinets, soft clothes, stainless steel appliances. And in fact, probably room for at least one more stool there if, uh, if you want to go that way. And gas cooking. So we'll spin you around. See the size of this kitchen. There you are. Beautiful. And just to be complete, here is the back. So right out the back door, even a newer screen door. And there is that back patio and that garage. So there you go. Spin you around once more without getting you dizzy and take that in. So, again, beautiful with all these lights and a great day outside there. So it really shows you off both inside and out. All right, we'll venture into the living room. Again, look at all the windows. So a lot of natural light is getting in here, but it's also amplified because we have a ton of recessed LED lights. So there you are. We'll head on upstairs. This is where the bathroom and the two bedrooms are located. Again, all fully redone. Give you the sense of the layout. So that's the bigger of the two bedrooms. Slightly smaller, but still a good size. And look at this bathroom. So the pictures will show it off. I'll get you in here too. So all original, I think just redone. Look at that. White, simplistic, yet elegant. So we'll take you back. Here is a linen closet right there. And again, take a note of that. The original hardware. And it all works, even on the garage door. I love it. So here we go. I'll take you into the bigger of the two bedrooms. 
So thinner plank on the hardwood floors, original. It was just refinished. Take a gander at that. Bring you over here, we'll show you the closet. And, there you are. And in fact, uh, we just sold one right around the corner and was associated with another one selling right down the street. So any information you need, we're always here to help. But this one is nice. Really like that detail too. Just has some charm to it. Uh, by the way, it stays there and stays there. I'll give you a quick little look. So plenty of storage space. Take you around. The other room had it as well. Now what some people do is they actually just put buildings in there. Shelves or drawers and you can just pull them out. So that's another design if you want to go that route. Because you have two there and you have two there. So if you're looking for some hidden storage, that is the way to go. So here we go. And none of these videos would be complete if we didn't show you everything we possibly can. And that's why I am going to venture down to the basement. So, take in that beautiful kitchen one more time. I'm looking at it too. <laughs> original hardware there, or I believe very close to original. And down we go. So plenty of storage space down here. I'll show you what's newer. So again, newer water heater, expansion tank. Now everything here done pretty nice. The Gibson matches the Gibson unit outside, so that's great your electric panel, and your gas meter. And some of these don't have this, but this was dug out at some point in time. You can see the newer PVC for the drain, so plenty of storage there, and plenty of storage here. Because the one I just did on Sandy Bank did not have that additional storage space. So that's nice. So that's it, that is the basement. We'll venture back up there, and until we add some more drone footage, I will leave you right here with a shot of the kitchen. Take to the skies.